Let's have an overview of points, polygons and edges, which are the three principal components of XSI. When selecting my object in here, points, if I hit T, I go into tag mode. If I don't want to hit T to see my points, I can always turn them on inside the view here. A couple of things to note about this is the T is going to do rectangular select, and this will be the standard way in which you'll, you'll find often for points. You can use any of the tools in the different modes to be able to do the selection. You can also see a quick idea of the additional ways of selecting uh, the components. A couple of things. Often when dealing with points, you'll want to do some selection like this, and you'll want to flatten them. So if I start to use things like uh, scaling locally, it's not really going to do much, try and scale in X and Z. The best thing to do is either work locally or globally with the COG, Central Geometry. And now when I scale them, here I can make them flat, which simply is doing like a zero scaling in Y to make them flat like so. A good idea if you want to select like a circular motion is use things like the brush, which is F11. If I reduce the radius now and I simply go on here, I've now selected all of that front section there, another useful way of selecting points. When we come to do things like edges, a couple of things to note on here. The two main ways will be hitting E for edges like so, and I for using raycast of edges like so. Some things you'll find will be when I hit E, if I want to select, say, the top four edges along here, if I try and use like the range or loop, it doesn't know if I'm trying to work on this side, this side, and so forth. So it's having a, a little issue with that. So often you'll find doing things like select the edges and then just simply deselect that which you don't need, like so. And then you have them. The other thing for edges is sometimes you'll want to be able to just simply put a subdivision, say, straight down here. If you want to do a subdivision on just one face, then you'll have to select like that. Shift D is a quick way of doing subdivide edge or subdivide polygon. It's the same short key, short hot key. If I had just done one selection of one edge and I do Shift D, if we look at the points here, it's already added and subdivided it. And then you can use things like parallel edge loop to do it all the way around. So in doing parallel edge loop, bearing in mind for edges, very simple, select a single edge and then use Shift D. Now when we come to polygons, a few things to remember here. For polygons, selecting Y is a rectangular selection. U is your raycast selection. If we were to do something like go back to the top of this again, if I were to use the Shift D for subdivide, we get actually a different effect because it's not an edge, it's a polygon and we get this plus. We also have a diamond, uh, an X, and uh, just triangles like so. Working with a square, if I were to use X and then Shift D again, you can see how quickly I've managed to get this sort of almost circular effect inside here. So it's a very quick way of taking a square and putting a circle inside it. Even more useful for when we do things like the geometry approximation and polygon mesh to here we go. If I switch into something like shaded mode, we can see it a bit better there. Very useful for if you want to make that sort of circular, especially with using subdivision surfaces, which is an extension of the polygons. Something else to remember is that polygons can be hidden. As with an object, if I hit H, 
I hide the object. If I still have it selected, as you can see up here, if I hit H again, it comes back. If I were to use polygons, if I hit H, I hide the polygons. And that's something you'll notice inside here with a red H. It means it has hidden polygons on it. If I were to deselect my polygons here, and now you can see I'm selecting on the inside and it no longer is available for selection. With my object selected, I can go into View, Unhide All Polygons. There we go. Don't forget that there are a whole load of filters inside here. If I were to do things like Polygon Island, this is a single object. Here it is. But it in fact has disconnected polygons, these little islands. So if I go into things like Polygon Island, I can select islands like so. So a combination of the component modes together with the filters will give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to things like selection as well as interaction and modeling.